Hey, this is YBR with Street Legal Racing Redline. Now, in my last video for this game, which was a long time ago, I promised I would be doing the Race of Champions. Unfortunately, that never worked out because the Race of Champions is a multi-race setup and there's no saving in between the races for some reason. And the game had a terrible, terrible habit of crashing. So I had countless attempts of doing the Race of Champions where I would do a couple of races. I would spend 15, 20 minutes doing it and then the game would just crash and that whole 15, 20 minute window was completely wasted. And after doing that multiple times, I eventually just gave up and said, okay, we're done with this game, but there's been some updates since then. So hopefully the game is a little bit more stable and we can actually accomplish the race of champions. Now, the one thing I remember from doing them before though, is that I need to buy more tires because these tires go away really fast. So we're going to go to the shop and then we're going to go to running gear and we want to go to tires and then we're going to try to find the same tires we have, which I think are actually just the biggest fattish drag radials money can buy so we're gonna buy four of the tires that way i have a ton of rear tires that i can just blow through as i race and the neat thing about the race of champions though is everything else can be repaired for free all you need to do is just bring some tires with you so let's go ahead and get started that's the checkered flag up here this is go to the race of champions and i meet every one of these we are in the top five of the best local racing club we're bringing a car with at least 750 prestige points we have $100,000 to enter this thing. That's crazy. $100,000 for the chance to win a car that looks to be like on par with a Dodge Viper in terms of like design and stuff. And Dodge Vipers aren't even that expensive unless you're getting a top of the line like ACR one. And then it also says maximum weight of spare parts is 2,000 pounds. And well, I assume mine aren't that because I can enter it. So let's go ahead and get started. We're skipping 169 in-game days because I'm that far ahead in things. And it says, welcome to the race of champions. The world's top 16 street racers are ready to fight for the prize and pride this rare event brings for one of them. There's four rounds, each has three runs. Only the toughest drivers in cars can make it through. Go for it. Now, one thing I didn't think about though is what is my car set up like? I don't know how it is. I'm going to just do a quick test run right here and make sure it works okay. And uh, I'm using the keyboard here. I got to figure out if I can use the controller properly. Oh my goodness, this is not how you start. All right, hold up, hold up. Is that, like, why was it doing that? If I rev it up and then shift? Okay, yeah. So my transmission's all wacky right now, and I can't even actually get started properly. So good thing I did that test run. Otherwise, I would be so furious on that first race. So we're going to go ahead and clear off the car, go to the transmission, and the end ratio is way over here. We'll just bring it over to, oh, there we go, about two-ish is what I was aiming for. For some reason, I can't drag. I have to click. And it's not as accurate as I want this to be. All right, so it's either 1.7. There we go, about two-ish. Finally got it. Now we'll do another test run. See if this feels any better. Oh, that's much better. Hey, I'm going through the gears so fast, though. Well, we're flying. We're good. Yeah, I like the way this feels. It feels like it is going to work pretty well. And I don't want to wreck the car when I'm flying around here. So we'll just quit right now. And then we're going to hit the magic button that repairs everything. Because I know there's probably some suspension damage from that jump. And what are my tires at? So they're at 93%. I don't need to worry about replacing them. I couldn't remember what I started them with. We also have a spare front wheel. That's the one thing. I didn't bring any spare parts. So if any parts fall off, they're gone. So you got to be pretty careful while driving. Anyways, let's go to the first race and see how it works. So the first person we're racing is Rick Lane. Because I'm Vince Pulaski. I always am Vince Pulaski. There's no way that changed that. That's just your name in this game. Oh my goodness. Do you see how much nitrous they got? They got like four bottles of nitrous. They got so much nitrous. The extra weight's going to slow them down. All right, here we go. We're racing. I don't know when I need to upshift because apparently I could just sit at 90,000 or not 90,000. 90 on the tachometer, which is 9,000 RPM. And we're fine because I was still accelerating. That was kind of unusual. Oh my goodness. This is not a good road to drive on. It is super bumpy. All right, slowing it down. And this thing is so twitchy because I got the drag wheels on it. But hey, I got a good lead on them. That's what's important. Oh my goodness, they just wrecked. I, I can take it easy now. I know I got this one pretty much in the bag. This is actually the hard part on this track, though. Um, if I remember correctly, like, if you get through here and you're in the lead or at least close to them, you're probably going to win because in this situation, I have a much faster car. This thing has 2,000 and some odd horsepower it is very very powerful it just does not like going around corners much All right, so that was actually a pretty good feeling race so far and we'll just get out of here and you see that like we're, we're accelerating and we're at 90 on the tachometer and it just keeps going and going and going and then it's finally topping out a little bit 
And I'm probably over revving the engine a bit, but I don't care because I can just pay to, I can repair it for free. I don't even have to pay to repair it. And there is absolutely no damage to the car, so that went perfect. At least, nothing that could have been avoided. I might have got some damage from flying through the air and bouncing all over the place, but no parts fell off. So that means we can go ahead and just repair everything. That's what's important to me, is just having the parts ready to go. So we just say everything's repaired, and then we're ready to go for round two against this same dude. Because that's how it works. You do three races against each pe person, and it's a 16-person uh, ladder. So then after this round, there's eight people, then four, and then the final two. So I'm ready to go. It's just like, it, it pans for a little bit longer than you expect. So you're like, wait, how long until the race actually starts? See, I keep shifting because I see the tachometer maxed out, but I don't need to. In fact, it's probably hindering my speed by doing that. Like, I just gotta hold it and let it go and go and go, and it works. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, brakes, 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 brakes. Alright, that was good. That was good. Good, good, good. Keeping it clean. They're gonna go off the track again. It seems like they always, if I remember correctly at least, they always do the same thing no matter what. So if they fly off the track the first run, they're gonna fly off the track the next run too. So you don't have too much to worry about. What you have to worry though is when they don't fly off the track like a complete idiot. Then you actually have a race on your hands. But I will gladly take this first race as being easy as I kind of get back into the game. Since it has been so long since I played this game. I'm taking it super easy through here. Like, it looks like I'm going through the corners really slow and that's on purpose because this thing tips. I remember being so, so mad when I would keep tipping the car over before. I'm just like, you know what, be very careful, don't tip the car. Right, we have a good lead, so we're not going to keep flooring it because we don't need to. Because you got to keep the car straight afterwards. If you hit those poles over to the left, you wreck your car and your engine will fall out probably. It's like, you don't expect it to happen and then your engine's at your car and you're like, oh no, that's bad. Alright, so we don't have to do three races because we won two of them already. So that means we get to go to the next one, and we could actually look up here, and it tells you who you're going to race. So next race, we're going to be racing Nikolaj Smirtogak Trubakshov. <laughs> I don't know what in the world you spell. Like, that just looks like almost random letters. It's Nicholas, but there's a J in it, because why not? Oh, uh, whatever. Let's just get this race going. And I probably should have swapped out these tires, because they are getting a little worn down. And when these tires get worn down, this car gets... Very, very tail happy. Hopefully we can do this race. If not, we just gotta win the two after it and we'll be okay. So three, two, one, and go! And I forgot to repair it too. So my end is gonna be running a little bit worse than normal as well. This was a poor decision. I was so distracted by figuring out what their name was and then realizing it's just gibberish that I completely blew it here. And I am a little all over the place and I don't know if I can really blame the car for that or if it's all on me. But at least I didn't fly off the road too much where I got damage. We got a lead, but I'm assuming this time they're not going to fly off the road. Oh, they are going to... No, they're not. They're actually just drifted that thing. They are DK behind me right there. Drift King. Just showing off a little bit, I think. But got enough of a lead where I should be okay. I don't have anything to worry about, I think. Cool. So we're going to have two pretty easy races in a row. Looks like if they do that again. Like, I know when they flew off the road, that was consistent. When they slid, I don't know if that was consistent. We'll have to see what happens. All right, so now we floor it and get to that finish. And yeah, I gotta replace these wheels after this race because they are getting worn down. Maybe I could sell them as a souvenir and make my money back, right? Like, these are the wheels of a champion. They're just the tires. I don't need to replace the whole wheel, just the tire. Oh, look at that. They are so red now. So three races is really all you get from them, which is perfect because I got uh, three sets of tires and there's three races we're going to do, or three groups of three races we're going to do, so it'll work out perfectly. All right, so over to here, we're going to grab uh, the wrenchy part to remove things. Remove that one and then remove that one. So they're actually at 16 and 13%. They are really in bad, bad states. We got some fresh ones, 100%, and we are ready to go for the next race. And this one should be easier than the last one because of these fresh tires and I forgot to repair the engine again. YBR, your brain is not working today. It is not working at all. Thankfully, I got a fast car so I don't need to think. Also, I don't have any replacements for the front tires, do I? Actually, I might have had some in the inventory. We'll have to look. I can't remember. Either way though, the engine is still pulling. That's what's important to me right now. Is that we can still go fast? Oh, something just fell off. Hopefully it wasn't important. That's what happens when you don't do those in-between race repairs. Parts get really loose and then they just fall off like that. 
I think that might have been... I, I don't know what it was. Like, like a sway bar or something? Can the sway bar really just pop off like that in this game? Because it looked like it was just a big metal bar about the width of the car. I'm really not sure what it was, and I'm scared to go around these corners now. Oh, getting up on two wheels. At least these wheels got traction, though. All right, keeping it real slow because we got to leave. We don't need to rush it. We don't need to roll over right there like a dummy. And I am going to remember to repair this time. I swear, I am not going to forget again. I'm going to get this thing fixed up, and then we'll be good for the final race. I'm taking it extra slow right here because I don't trust it in its current state, and I don't want to hurt the engine anymore. So there's an easy win, and we're actually going to stop before the end of the cones, which almost never happens. Maybe that's part of the uh, front fascia, because you see, like, you got, like, the bumpers are all torn up there. Hopefully that's all it was. All right, before I forget, click the button. All right, car has been repaired for free. What is this? Oh, it's a body kit. I forgot I had a body kit in my inventory. I just completely forgot. So I actually have another pair of front wheels I can equip, and these ones are at about... 50% so we might as well since we're halfway through the race I figured this would be a good time to do it They weren't losing grip or anything, but they might be for the next race So on goes this one and then on goes that one Let's see. It's a 295 20 R19. Pretty sure those ones are pretty close to that uh, Let's see. What about the uh, rim itself is a 1219. This is a 1219. So yeah, it's the same So we're gonna be racing against here Dale boost Simpson I really appreciate how normal his name is, and I bet you he's using a boosted engine. I just have this feeling like that dude, Dale, he's going to have a turbo on his car. Yep, I can almost definitely say that's the kind of car that would have a turbo. It'd probably even have one from the factory. It either had like an inline four, inline six turbocharged engine. Because when I look at that car, I kind of think of Japanese sports car, kind of like the Supra and the Skyline, both of which had inline sixes. But it also looks a little bit more modern. And the more modern ones, you know, efficiency came into mind, and then they started putting in the inline fours, like Subaru does in the Impreza, and then like Mitsubishi does in the Lancer Revolution. And it's kind of funny, I say Impreza, and I don't say Impreza WRX STI, but for Lancer, I always say Lancer Revolution. I guess it's because I see a lot more plain Jane Lancers than I do plain Jane Imprezas. That's my only thought there. So it looks like they kind of screwed up again on that corner. Am I going to just get away with them messing up every time on the corner and it's just the easiest races ever? Because that would be great. I will gladly take an easy win after the amount of attempts I've done on this off camera that never worked out because of the game crashing. Although it's a little disappointing for you guys if I just dominate. And it's not even like I'm dominating because I'm racing good. It's I'm dominating because they suck at driving. Like I got such a huge lead here. I don't even need to go that fast to the finish line. We're going to keep it slow to make sure we can keep it straight in the middle of the road because I want to actually hit the barriers on the side of the road because I've been scared of hitting those the whole time because I'm pretty sure those are wrecked your car. Oh, no! Oh, I saw them coming on the map. Oh, no! Okay. Every th my wheels are still attached. My engine is still attached. I think we'll be okay, but... Oh, you sore loser! Dale Simpson, I hate you now. I was cool with you because you had a cool name. Now I hate you. All right, repair. Let me see what it looks like. It looks like it'll be okay. It looks fine, although the game is, like, lagging, and usually it crashes right after this. So please don't crash. Just get into the game. Get into the race. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Hopefully this thing still drives. And look at his car. His car's, like, perfectly fine somehow. Like, he had parts flying everywhere, too. It was like, yeah, but I brought spare parts when I think it's bumper cars, so I don't have anything bad happening to my car. Dale, I hate you. Dale, he messed with my, he messed with my transmission. No. I actually was just a big dummy and I hit reverse instead of going to first gear, which is one of those things you could do really easily in a video game, but not so much in real life because with a reverse, it has like a lockout where you have to push down or pull up or something depending on the vehicle. In a video game, it's just one thumb click away for forward or reverse. All right, so what are they doing here? Are they going to spin out? Yes. I hear a little bit of crashing, I think. So yeah, we're going to be good again for another easy win into the finals. And I kind of hope the finals is actually a close race. I saw my car getting up on two wheels. It scared me for a second. I took my breath away. All right, we're going to take this a little bit slower this time. Because I don't want to go up on two wheels. 120 sounds good. Yeah. Like, you see the car lean so much without even tipping. It's scary just watching it lean now. And right, we're going to floor here. We're not going to take any chances where we get hit in the back. I'm going to go as fast as I can and just get out of their way. Because they are a death trap. Like, they even spun out again. How did they win those first two races, man? Like, they, they crashed in every corner. What did the other guy do? Or maybe they just took him out. 
They destroyed their car after the race was over, and that's how they won. Dale Simpson, you're a dirty driver. You're no longer Dale Boo Simpson, you're Dale Dirty Driver Simpson. So the car is repaired, and then let's go ahead and swap out the rear tires. They're only at 73%, but these are the finals. We might as well get the nice, fresh tires on it. So this one's 100%, and the next 100% is going to be right there. And now we're ready to race against Gary Hellboy again. <laughs> what? Was he Hellboy before, and he is again? And I know that's not the correct way to pronounce that, but I don't know the correct way. So as far as I'm concerned, it's just again. His name is again, and his son will be one more time. Yeah, they change their last name whenever they have a child. It's just their family tradition. Because his great-grandfather was the first, his child was the second, and then this guy's dad was the third, and then they just gave up on naming them numbers, and they said, all right, he's Gary again. We're not going to change this kid's name. He's just Gary like his father and his father and his father. Oh, that was some air. I think we're okay, though. All right, are they going to actually mess up on this corner again and making it really easy for me? Let's see. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. That's awesome. I mean, it sucks to watch, but it's awesome to do because I can just take it easy, make sure I don't tip the car over, and I got a victory going here. See, so going like way slower than last time. Well, maybe not that much slower, but a bit slower than last time. Like here, we'll go only 100. Okay, maybe 120 after all because it's downhill and it's going to accelerate me really like that. And then we got to get away. I don't want sore losers hitting me. We're going to floor it and get as far away as we possibly can from this dude. And as long as we're going over 300 kilometers per hour, I think we'll be safe. So 350, 370, we're good. They're not going to catch me. I'm going past the cones even. Although, did they go past the cones too? I really don't know. And nah, looks like they are pretty much stopped right by the finish line. They have good brakes, I don't. At least Gary again isn't a sore loser. So we'll repair the car and then get into the final race of the finals. Of the final race in the game. Sounds funny to say, final, final, final. I am ready for these final, final, finals with my final drive in my final car for this video. Okay, I can't, I don't have any more finals for this. Okay, I can say it's the final video for Street Legal Racing Redline, but I don't think it will be. I think this is a game we can come back to and have some fun with even after we complete the whole everything in the game. And I'm really glad the game hasn't crashed. Cross my fingers, although I'm trying to also race at the same time. Because this is actually as farthest I've ever gotten. Usually it crashed by the second, maybe third race. Never actually got into the last race. And oh no, YBR, what you doing? Come on, get back on this road. Oh, I'm just bouncing everywhere, so I can't get on the road. Oh, get on the road. <laughs> Can you imagine being one of the spectators? Or one of the other racers? It's like, this is the grand finale. And both cars just blow the first corner, fly off the track, and they're crashing everywhere. Like everybody else in the thing is like, how did these dudes beat us? It's like, oh wait, we flew off the track too. And all the spectators are like, these guys are some of the worst racers we've ever seen. Every race, somebody's flying off the track because they don't know how to slow down. They've never been to a real race. All they've ever done is drag racing. They don't have to predict the corners and know when to slow down beforehand. Alright, so, in the end, I got the lead. I got the win. Because they're not going to catch me on these straights. No way, no how. They might hit me, though, because they're right up on me and they're coming at me hard. Oh, <laughs> you just see a flip it over over there. Uh, I think that's the end of the race of champions. I don't think there's like some hidden boss or anything. I think that's just it. So let's see what happens. Yeah, congratulations. You won the race of champions. Your prize is a Whisper Q1000XL. Does it mean extra large? Why would you want an extra large race car? Oh, cool, we got the money back, too, so I don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this car, if I can hit the right button, not repair. Look, there you go. All right. So that's a decent-looking car. I think it's actually going to be slower than my current car, but we'll have to do some testing next time. So until then, this has been YBR. I'll see ya!